ApoB is found in non-HDL cholesterol. More specifically, it's in LDL, lipoprotein A, IDL or intermediate density lipoprotein, and VLDL, very low density lipoprotein. And there we can see ApoB100 found in each of these lipoproteins, or ApoB for short. Now note that ApoB is not found in HDL, which instead has ApoA1. So why is ApoB important? ApoB may be a better marker of coronary heart disease risk when compared with LDL, and that's what we'll see here. On the x-axis, we've got the odds ratio of CHD, and this is a study of about 441,000 people. So first, starting with LDL cholesterol, we can see that its confidence interval when compared with the hazard ratio of 1 completely overlaps with that hazard ratio of 1, such that it wasn't significantly associated with CHD risk in this study. In contrast, ApoB, for ApoB, we can see that its confidence interval is completely above 1. In other words, it's a significantly higher risk for CHD in association with relatively higher levels of ApoB, and we can see that that's a significant effect there with the p-value. Now, note that ApoB may be a better marker of dementia risk, too, when compared with LDL. And that's what we'll see in this study of about 469,000 people that looked at all-cause dementia hazard ratios or all-cause dementia risk. And note that all-cause dementia is Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, and other dementias. So in this study, they looked at all-cause dementia risk for ApoB in association with ApoB and LDL. On the left, we've got the relatively low levels of ApoB and LDL, and on the right, relatively higher levels. So first, for ApoB, we can see that its confidence interval is completely above that hazard ratio of 1. So in other words, relatively higher ApoB is significantly associated with an increased risk for all-cause dementia. In contrast, LDL, its confidence interval completely overlapped with the hazard ratio of 1. So it's not significantly associated with all-cause dementia risk. So based on these data from these two studies, that suggests that relatively lower ApoB may be better for health. But is that true? Is lower always better for ApoB? More specifically, what about all-cause mortality risk? So that's what we'll see here in this study of about 94,000 people. We've got ApoB on the y-axis, and then we've got two outcomes, cardiovascular mortality risk in the open circles, and then all-cause mortality risk in the black diamonds. And then these data first are in 39 to 59 year olds. So when compared with the referent, which was 1.24 to 1.39 grams per liter for ApoB, we can see that relatively higher levels, higher than 1.4 grams per liter, were associated with an increased cardiovascular and increased all-cause mortality risk. And we know that it's, these data are significant because their confidence interval is completely above that red line, which is the hazard ratio of 1. Now note that at lower levels of ApoB for this age group, there was no impact on mortality risk, whether cardiovascular or all-cause, when ApoB was less than 1.23 grams per liter. So from these data, we can see that in 39 to 59 year olds, relatively high ApoB is significantly associated with an increased cardiovascular and all-cause mortality risk. And this still supports that hypothesis that relatively lower ApoB may be better for cardiovascular and all-cause mortality risk in this relatively young age group. But what about older than 59 years? So that's what we'll see here in 60 to 79 year olds and using the same setup. First, starting with the referent, we can again see relatively higher levels of ApoB were significantly associated with an increased cardiovascular and all-cause mortality risk. And again, both their confidence intervals are completely above that red line, a hazard ratio of 1. So what about lower levels? So we can see that there was no impact on cardiovascular mortality risk when ApoB was less than 1.23 grams per liter. But notice that at the lowest level of ApoB, less than 1.06 grams per liter, there was a significantly increased all-cause mortality risk. So that argues against this idea that lower is always better for ApoB, as we can see that relatively low ApoB for people in the 60 to 79 year age range was associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. All right, what about older than 79? So this study also provided that data with uh, data for older than 80 years old, which is what we can see here. And again, starting with the referent, now we can see that relatively higher ApoB and lower ApoB was not significantly associated with mortality risk for or cardiovascular mortality risk for any level of ApoB. But again, notice at the lowest level of ApoB, less than 1.06 grams per liter, when compared with that red line, the hazard ratio of 1, all-cause mortality risk was significantly increased when 
in association with relatively low ApoB. So collectively, the data in 60 uh, people older than 60 years shows that relatively lower ApoB may not be better for all-cause mortality risk in that age group, so when people are older than 60 years. So in terms of the initial premise of this video, for ApoB is lower always better, based on all-cause mortality risk, if you're older than 60, maybe not. If you're 39 to 59 years, that could be true. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, NAD quantification, green tea, epigenetic testing, as mentioned in this video, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing with SciFox Health, and note that their panel of biomarkers is almost exclusively different from the at-home metabolomics, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.